invite the opportunity to dislike it. Invite the opportunity to hate it. You have to keep pushing through and you have to keep making work on the days where it feels like you're going nowhere. Maybe you're even going backwards. Garbage. Mm. Garbage. Garbage. Oh God, I already thought that was garbage. Is it okay to hate your own art? I give myself permission to that because I am not afraid to look at things and feel as though it's bad. That's not an unhealthy feeling. I actually think that's a sign of showing growth. Let me illustrate this in one way. Imagine a general kind of trend line that is your, your overall improvement over time. And ideally, we want it to kind of develop, you know, at least in the same direction, maybe not go down. It'd be great if it went up more. But along that line, there are two components that are gonna make the development happen. The first thing is going to be your actual skills. When you start making her art, some of it might start as an interest, and then you decide that you wanna actually develop something. You wanna actually grow. So you work on the skills. You look at the things that you like. You try and imitate those things. Eventually, your skills start to grow and they start to match what your vision is, what you think is possible in making art. The second those skills come remotely close to where your vision is, you've now opened up more vision. So your vision jumps. And now the gap between your vision and your skills is greater and you've never felt better in your own skills in your entire life. That's a frustrating feeling. You're continually growing your skills. You're continually gaining more vision because your skills are enabling you to see more of what's possible. You're gonna come back down and sort of calibrate into a level of comfort of where your new skill set is. That slump coupled with a vision jump is the most paralyzing place in art making. Those are the moments where I hate my art but I don't allow myself to hate it for very long. I try to give myself perspective that if I was to look at the trend line of where my skills are and where they made my vision grow, then on those days where I'm feeling not that great, if I just look at my work from last year or five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, all of a sudden I start seeing that I'm actually quite good relative to where I am. I don't think it's healthy to hate your work as a reflection of yourself. And I don't think it's healthy to hate your work as a reflection of where you see yourself in relationship to other people in the world or other people at the time that you are in your own journey. I think it's okay to kind of hate your work, especially when you hit a point where you want to grow more. If we give ourselves permission to experience this frustration and experiences gloom that the, the making has uh, enabled us, has entitled us to feel and acknowledge that it's just a phase. And it's actually just a phase at a moment where we've actually demonstrated growth, then we can get over it very quickly. I don't experience these feelings very often because I love the process. So for me, I'm not committed to the product being an identifier of how well I'm doing. I identify my commitment to the process of art making, my commitment to understanding my own clarity within that process, my own decision making, and my own thoughts that go into creating the work that I have. That's where I put my investment. I can be dissatisfied with a product, but I'm not actually dissatisfied with the process because the process in it is enabling me to grow skills. It's enabling me to grow my vision. And ultimately those two things are enabling me to be a better artist. If you are making work and you are being consistent and true to yourself and you are feeling frustrated with your work and you actually don't like your work, more likely than not, you are in a phase where your work has grown you have improved, you are a better artist today than you were yesterday. You now have vision to get more growth. So if you could recommit yourself to understanding what about the process you fell in love with and what about this particular kind of making. What do you wanna make? 
How do you want to make it? Why do you want to make it that way? Commit yourself to that. The work will continue to grow. You're going to get over these feelings pretty quickly.